Grammar Two for Level Two Students, Chapter Nine: Comparisons. Comparative forms of adjectives using superlatives. Typical completion when a superlative is used. Here is a structure. The superlative form of adjective is followed by of all. See the examples. There are many tall students in the class. Ahmed is the tallest student of all. There are many beautiful cities in KSA. Abha is the most beautiful city of all. There are many cities, but Abha is the most beautiful of all cities. People watch many sports on TV like cricket, football, basketball, but football is the most popular of all. It means of all sports. Using superlatives. We use superlatives in another form. There is one of the before the superlative form of the adjective, and after that, the plural noun. See the examples. In Ahmed's class, there are thirty students. A few of them are of the same height. Ahmed is one hundred seventy centimeter tall. Hassan is one hundred sixty eight centimeter tall. Ali is one hundred sixty seven centimeter tall, and Omar is one hundred seventy centimeter tall. Among the four students, we find Ahmed and Omar are of the same height. So we cannot say Ahmed is the tallest student in the class or Omar is the tallest student in the class. Both of them are the tallest. So we can say this way: Ahmed is one of the tallest students in the class. We use one of the before the superlative form of the adjective, and then it is followed by the plural noun. The most The list is used before adjectives in the superlative forms. There were fifty students in a class. They sat for the final exam, and in this situation, thirty students failed to answer question number one correctly. Twenty students failed to answer question number two correctly. Ten students failed to answer question number three correctly. In this situation, we can compare the most difficult question or The less difficult question, according to the number of students, answered the questions. See the explanation. Students say these questions were difficult. Therefore, regarding the degree of difficulty, we can say question number one is the most difficult question in the exam because thirty students failed to answer this question among fifty students, and question number three. Is the least difficult question in the exam because only ten students fail to answer this question correctly.